Mr. Babatunde Ogala, SCN, former National Legal Advisor to the All Progressives Congress, APC, fondly called BK by friends, celebrated his 60th birthday on Thursday, the 15th of July, 2021, at the beautiful Alfred Gardena State Poolside, Oregon, Lagos. In spite of the heavy downpour, guests turned out in their numbers to celebrate with Mr. Babatunde Ogala, SCN, some dignitaries present were former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Otumba Femi Pedro, Sir Oluo Keowu, and wife, Lady Adejo Keowu, Prince Dr. B.C. Olatilo, Chairman and CEO, Biscon Communications, Mayor Akikbelu of Global Excellence Magazine, among many others. Reflecting on his life so far, the celebrant, Mr. Babatunde Ogala, SEN, shared stories of some of his good and bad memories with friends and well-wishers who gathered to celebrate with him. As a student, um, I had to struggle through here and there, of course with plenty of support. You know how it is, no father, no mother, in a polygamous setting. And by the grace of God, I didn't derail even though I had the, all the opportunities in the world, I would have been a successful conductor if I wished. I would have been a successful area boy. I had all the opportunities to be. Um, I'm sure I could also have been a successful Fuji musician. Yes, I would have been. Certainly, I would have made a success of it. I am certain that if I had chosen to be an area boy, I would have been a successful one. I wouldn't fail. If the senior advocate of Agbero, I would have gotten it. Um, it's been topsy turvy time where when things were rough. Time was when you almost wanted to give up. Time was when you question God. But one thing that I was, was constant, I had always been one that does not carry my disappointment. I feel it. In my politics, people today, in my politics, in my legal practice, people today will think, oh, it's because I've heard people say, because you had this. I had no Godfather. When I elected to be in politics, and indeed in legal practice, I was like, this is where I want to be. Beautiful wife of the celebrant, Justice Unida Molao Gala, also spoke about her husband and their times together so far. She wished him well and many years ahead. When I woke up this morning, one song came to my mind, and that's what I will summarize it. And I was saying it to myself, God, He's been saying it's been tough. Is it been tough living with him too? But Emini Koloye. So when I woke up this morning, I was saying, Emini Koloye. Koloye and Koko. He did see Mofinia Fanda. Emini Koloye. So I got, give God all the glory. I thank God for his life. I thank God for where he is. I thank God for where he will be. And I just give God, because God has been faithful. And I say to him, God just loves you. He's just been faithful to you. It's not because of anything that you are doing or you can do. Because if it's that, hmm, God just loves you. So I just thank God for your life. And I hope that now that you have entered as any of the council of elders, you will do what the elders do. <laughs> and all the senior citizens do. So I'm looking. Others who spoke about the celebrant were Venerable Gwenga Fagwemi, Mr. Muiwa Kukbuluyi, a friend of the celebrant, Uluyomi Dada, Timei Uwejamumere, and Richard Akiola. Faces as he sees it. I remember whenever we have uh, FOH meetings, and uh, he will give a clear, precise judgment and tell it that way. And... Uh, We've been over 20 something years now, more than 20 something years, I've known him. So, and I told him, You are highly favored. Don't take it for granted. You know, with the humble beginning, 
will teach you a lesson. My prayer is that God will take you there in Jesus' name. That nothing will derail you. Because politically now, and I keep telling you, tell them the honest truth, whether they like it or not. And I pray God will grant you the strength to do that in Jesus' name. Thank God for your life. Uh, you have been wonderful. I mean, if I have to say this, I've not had any cause to say this to you before. You are exceptional. Exceptional, just like uh, the variable said it, BK will say it the way it is. He has no nothing to hide, no diplomacy. Let, let anybody get annoyed. Let anybody think otherwise. BK is on the way. Um, one thing about BK that is tenacious and is forgiving. And that is key. This world of ours, that all kinds of things come to you. People tend to abuse you. People tend to say things behind your back. But you stood with them. And we're a member of Island Club together. And uh, you can imagine what he says on our platform to people who go out online. It doesn't mean words. It will just attack them. Once you act stupid, you tell you, don't pass those kind of statements here. You think you are in a beer parlor. You will yap them. Big men will not be a lot of these small kids. And each time, some of them will have tongue in cheek. Some of them will want to have bust. But they dare not take uh, BK to the cleaners because he will not back down. Sometimes I have to call him behind and say, ah, so BK, see this conversation now. It's too much. These people will take. So BK has always been like that. And I thank God for him. Um, things, like I said, happened five years, and it happened fast and well, and we thank God. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you, my, my Lord. Thank you for being there for us, because not only for him, for us. Shima, thank you, man. Despite the fact that he um, was um, very close to a national leader, but he came on principle. He stood against the encroachment of his office by the then national chairman of the party. Put it in writing and challenge Adams Oshamale then that you cannot encroach, I mean, on the powers of uh, national legal advisor. And of course, um, somehow the matter was uh, resolved. But it, it takes someone with so much of courage and um, someone who is principled to challenge his chairman that way. And uh, because, I mean, in view of the very slippery terrain of our politics, I mean, it's very easy for anybody to plan anything to get to out of it. But that's uh, BK, and uh, I'm glad that uh, despite your steadfastness, I mean, uh, despite because of the backlash you have suffered one way or the other in terms of your principle, that um, uh, it has stood in good, I mean, good stead in terms of uh, people's um, esteem. Venerable Gbenga Fagbimi invited guests above 60 years to surround and pray for the celebrant as they all welcomed him into the 60-year-old Mac. Afterwards, Fabian, the saxophonist and the Phoenix band, played birthday tunes to wish the celebrant a happy birthday while the celebrant took photographs with friends. <laughs> The highlight of the event was the kick cutting exercise supervised by Otumba Femi Pedro. I'm going to start from 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 56, 7, 
Afterwards, the celebrant, Mr. Babatunde Ogala, SEN, was joined by his wife and children, family members in diaspora and friends above 60 years old for more photos and videos. From Biscon Communications, it's 60 hearty cheers to Mr. Babatunde Ogala, SAN.